Back to the grind, so what you wanna do? A word from the bishop, top of the week, I'll bring you through It's Make It Monday, time to make it do what it do Encourage men in the cup, so here's to me and here's to you Rise and shine, back to the grind, so what you wanna do? A word from the bishop, top of the week, I'll bring you through It's Make It Monday, time to make it do what it do What up, what up, what up, what up, welcome to Make It Monday Where the best part of waking up is my encouragement in your cup. Look at the beard on the cup and the beard on the dude. They match it. Oh, it's the red. Happy love day. Do you got love in your cup? Somebody tell me, is there love? I got love on my mind. Woo! I got love. All right, mm, me, me, me. You know they ain't give me no apple juice. That's why I sound like that. Don't blame me. Blame it on the nine apple juice. All right. To it. This is what I wanted to get to. This is what I wanted to get to. Fiend, it's all love. Don't you watch them, t them TV shows? They's like, thanks, man. He's like, no, it's all love. <laughs> they be like, yo, man, you, you, I don't even see how you did that for me. They be like, no, it's all love, brother. It's all love. Well, you know what? I used to hate those when they, those TV shows when they be like, it's all love. Because I be like, it's not all love. It's not. It's not. But you know what? I can admit when I was wrong. I was wrong. It is all love. It is all love. That's right. I was wrong. I was wrong. I'm going to tell you. Are you better? All right. Maybe I wasn't wrong because this is going to be on, on, on in the clouds forever, right? I wasn't wrong. I was mistaken. <laughs> Sound better. I was mistaken. I was mistaken. I was mistaken. I was mistaken. But it is all love. It's all love. It's all love. It's all love. So I have seven daring dynamics to make you love in a special way all week. Seven daring dynamics to make you love in a special way all week. So what's our word? Happy Valentine's Day. What's our word? Love. Love in you. Oh, I need some apple juice. It's easy because... I don't sound like this on Sunday, I promise. <laughs> anyway. Love. It's a noun and a verb. What do we call that? A gerund. A gerund. Love. An intense feeling of deep affection. An intense feeling of deep affection. That's how most people love. I don't really like to love that way. I think that's 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 uh low budget uh Craigslist love. I don't really like that kind of love. Um Another uh, low budget kind of love that um, you can get on, on cars.com. Uh, a feeling of strong or consist consistent affection for a person. No, I got a feeling of strong affection for my Porsche. That's, I, mm -hmm. I, I got a feeling. Of, I got a feeling of strong affection for for my range. Not not this this is this is low budget love here. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. The Bible. That's what we are. That's what I do. I do the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. I do the Bible, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to talk about the loves that are recorded in the Bible. And watch this. The loves that are not. The, because all loves are not in the Bible. So there's certain loves that are in the Bible and certain loves that are not in the Bible. Certain loves don't come from God. And I want to tell you at the outset, I'm going to give you a, this is not a prediction. This is a spoiler. Most of the love that people practicing don't come from God at all. What? Yeah, I'm going to tell you about it. All right. First love in the Old Testament, Ahab, Ahab, however you want to say it. Genesis 22, 20, Genesis 22, 2. And he said, take your son, your only son, Isaac whom you love, Ahab, who you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering. So he tells Abraham, this is your son, you Ahab. Go do it. You love him, but you got to give him up. All right. Uh, then Genesis 24, 67. I had to deal with Internet Famous about this the other day because she don't know the Bible. She'd be fronting. Uh, if she y'all deacon, y'all need to uh, do fact checks. Anyway, no, I'm playing, I'm playing. This is joking. Oh, she ain't even a deacon no more. She a minister. Then y'all need to fact check with the bishop. What are you doing? All right, anyway. Anyway, anyway, watch this. Then Isaac brought her into the tent of Sarah, his mother, and took Rebecca, and she became his wife. That means he, he, they did the thing. And 
He loved her. Ain't nothing about no romance in this. Ain't nothing about no roses. Ain't nothing about no gifts on Valentine's Day. Ain't nothing. All the internet famous kind of love where we watch Ryan Combs and be like, oh, and they all cheesy. It ain't none of internet famous kind of love in this. This is Bible love. Y'all shout out to internet famous. Anyway, so Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. He loved this woman without all the American romance. Aha. Uh -huh. Then Genesis 37, 3. Now Israel loved Ahab, Joseph, more than any of his other sons because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colors. That's the Old Testament word for love, Aha. Uh -huh. But we're a New Testament church. And in the New Testament, God gets jiggy with it. He gives all these different definitions for love. So let's look at the New Testament and see what love God uses in the New Testament. Number one, number one, agapeo, 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 agapeo. Okay, that's from God. John 3, 16, for God so agapeo. Uh, that he get, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now watch this kind of love. Y'all need to listen to me. I am the love professional. I am the I am the love doctor. Doctor Monday, the love doctor. Watch this. This kind of love is unconditional love, preferential love that is chosen and acted out by the will. It is not based on the goodness of the one being loved. It is not based on any affinity or emotion. It has nothing to do with feelings. I'm going to say it again. Nothing to do with feelings. So if you do something wrong to the person, they can't stop loving you because none of this has anything to do with with emotions or affinity. So that's how come God can love sinners. Because it doesn't have any, you can, I cannot even be like you and still love you. It is a act, a decision of the will. All right, watch this. It is benevolent, well-meaning and kindly, and always seeks the good of the one being loved. I keep telling people, God is a good God. That means he is always seeking the good. He's always seeking the, he's seeking the good for sinners. God is love. And the word love uh, comes, the, the root word is from the word give. God is giving. He's, uh, he, I mean, this has nothing to do with emotions at all. This love is exclusive. Watch this. Exclusive to believers only because it comes from God only. Sinners cannot do this. It is they do not have the capacity to love like this. No sinner has the capacity to love without emotion. They do not. So even if they're your child, it's based on emotion. A sinner does not have the capacity to love without emotion. You can only receive that from God. The next love, next love, next love. We don't love number three. Second love of the New Testament, third love that we're talking about, agape. This is the one you know. The, it is birthed from agapo. 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 Agape is birthed from agapo. So this is the love that we are familiar with. It is synonymous to philos or the filial love. It, it, it designates love between persons. Watch this. John 3, John 13 and uh, 35. By this, we all know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. That's how we are supposed to love one another, with agape love. Agape love. Most people don't love people with agape love at all. But this is what God declares and decrees. 1 John 2.15. This is the kind of love I try to practice. Uh, do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So if you, this, this is, you can't love stuff. You can't love stuff with God, with the God kind of love. You can't love a table. You can't love a car. You can't love, you, God is not into that. He does not believe in you loving things. He only believes in you loving people and loving him. Are you with me? He has a certain type of love that he gives to believers, but people who are not believers don't understand what we're talking about because they do not have the ability to work agape love. You have to, to work agape love, agape love, you gotta be, it has to come from God. And to work agape love, it has to come from God. 
Are you with me? Romans 5, 8, for but God demonstrates his love towards us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. All right. Uh, 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 so God, is, he gives us a certain type of love. And then there's John 17, 26. I ain't got time. But watch this. This love is, syn is, is synonymous to a philos love. Not the same, but synonymous. Philos love is different because... Uh, it emphasizes the idea, I, I, the idea of love arising from personal relationships. You my mother. You my child. You my favorite cousin. You my best friend. That kind of, sort of that kind of love. Are you with me? Philos love. It, it comes from personal relationships. Agape is founded upon deep appreciation and regard. It is perhaps for this reason that agape love is the love that God commands believers to love with. Wow. Happy Valentine's Day. What kind of love you rocking? What kind of love you rocking? All right. Number four. Let's deal with Philo's love. Number four on Philo's love. This signifies friendship, fondness, affection, delight, and personal attachment. This word is one of feeling. Your feelings got to be a part of it. This is where you have your feelings that are a part of it. Oh, I love my mother. I love my best friend. I love my favorite auntie. I love my favorite usher. <laughs> Shout out to my favorite usher, Letitia. Anyway, uh, you know, uh, this, this, this love has feelings in it. Are you with me? Um, it is a... It is, it is not a matter of decision. It, is, it, 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 can, it can produce decision. But it is feeling orientated. Are you with me? Uh, it, so, so we got to understand that this love has feelings towards it. But we are commanded to have agape love. Agape love. But if you can't have agape love because you're not saved, then what else you going to give your kid? What else you going to give your nephew? What else you going to give your niece? What else you going to give your sister? You giving them fillows. You are not giving them unconditional love because you can't. I know you want to tell yourself that when you wasn't saved, you had unconditional love for your child. You didn't. You didn't because that only comes from God. Do you have was the second best fillows? Because that's only all you can muster if you're not saved. Are you with me? Uh, fillows, watch this. This, this is the reason why God does not tell us to love Philos, because Philos has to deal with your emotions and emotions or feelings cannot be commanded. Um, I'm going to say that again because you missed it. Emotions or feelings, God cannot command you to have emotion or feelings. That's why when I was preaching the other week and I said joy is a power, not, a emo not a emotion, because God says be joyful. Well, God can't command you to have feelings. How could he? This part of your soul can't command you to have a feeling. He doesn't say be happy. He said be joyful. Joyful is a power, not a feeling. Feelings can't be commanded. So that's why God doesn't command Philip's love. But he does command agape love because that has nothing to do with your feeling. That's you do it because I said so. That is, uh, uh, he can command your decision because you are his. Oh, well, uh, it's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Philos is also the, also, uh, the word for kiss. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, my lips is nice. They nice. Shout out to Pastor Grant. God gave you a good thing. Girl, if I wasn't you, I'd want to be you. Um. Watch this. Watch this. Philos. Philos is the word for kiss. Jesus asked Peter if he had uh, unconditional agape love for him one time. He's like, Peter, do you love me? He asked him with agape. Peter was like, I feel you, Lord. I feel you. I, I feel you, Lord. But later on, Peter uh, got deeper in the spirit and he uh, grew and he began to write about agape in his later books. And Peter was a total agape man. All right. Number five, number five, I'm moving on. Number five, Philadelphia. 
Hey, Philadelphia. Hey, I'm from, where you from? Philadelphia, hey, Philly. Philly, Philly, where I'm from, from. When you say I'm from Philly, you saying I'm from Love Town. I'm from love. When your people say I'm from Philly, it's all love. I'm from Philly. I'm from Loveville. I'm from Loveville. That's why the rest of the world can't stand this. Because we are love. We're so much lovers. Virginia is not for lovers. Philly is for lovers. Virginia is for faking. Shout out to all Virginians. <laughs> all right. Philadelphia. The root, the root is from the word philo, to love. And Adelphos means brother, a brother. So this word signifies loving someone like a brother or a sister. So now watch this. This is how you get the, this is the love for your best friend. So you know you got uh, uh, internet famous, shout out to Nikki, got a friend Nikki, uh, 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 and, and uh, uh, different people got best friends. Um, uh, Maya has me, shout out to me. Um, <laughs> Damaris has me, shout out to me. Oh, Internet Famous has me too, shout out to me. Uh, so shout out to me three times. Uh, anyway, 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 watch this, watch this. If you love this person, it's your best friend, or you have besties, or BFS for life. This is that kind of love. Uh, you, you, or you have a person, you be like, I love him like a brother. Like I was watching um, um, Tommy last night, he developed in... Uh, he's trying to develop the love for his brother that he had for Ghost. He don't know he's doing it yet. I don't know either because I'm not a writer, but I see where the, where the show is going. That has nothing to do with anything. Okay. But you have love for your best friend. This is, you know, I, I got love for Richardson, Adelphi. You love love like a brother. Am I making any sense? All right. I got love. Got, I got love for uh, 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 Lee Rogers always uh, helping the brother out. Like he got some stuff for Valentine's Day sales ideas and all that. But I got love. I got love. 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 Are you with me? So, so, or you love a person like a sister. You love a person like a sister. You love a person like a sister. A sister. A sister. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I have, I have, I have, I have multiple relationships with people. Some people that in my life are my church member, but they could be my son or my daughter. But then they could be my brother or my sister too. So I have, I can end up having a lot of different relationships. Y'all, y'all understand what I'm saying, right? Like Renee is my, she's she's my daughter, she's my friend, she's my sister. I have a lot of different. Uh, relationships with different people. So anyway, anyway, this is this kind of love. And uh, the thing about Philadelphia love is if you are in Christ, and only if you are in Christ, it is possible for you to hate somebody or have really been hurt by somebody and then produce this kind of love for them. But that only happens if you're in Christ. And I don't got time to do a whole expose on the Bible. So moving on. Six, storage love. Somebody say, first of all, ain't it weird that it's called storage love? You feel like you want to put it in the closet. Storage, storage love. Six, six, storage love. Storage love. Now, I keep telling you, it's all love. It's all love. Storage love is not mentioned in the Bible at all. It's not mentioned in the, two, in the New Testament. Well, what is storage love? I'm glad you asked. Storage love is like Philos love, but it's just for family members. It's just for family members. It's just for family members. Storage love is for family members. However, storage is not listed in the New Testament. It is the natural love among family members and it's, it's absent at the end times. It's absent at the end time. So although storage love, a type of philos love, is not mentioned in the New Testament at all, God, God barely dignifies it. And he only dignifies it with this. He mentions this opposite. He will not mention storage love at all. He does not. He mentions its opposite two times in Romans 1, 31 and in 2 Timothy 3, 3, a storage. That's what he mentions. He doesn't mention storage at all, but he does mention the opposite of it, a storage. Let me read you these verses. Let me read you these uh, verses. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see where they at. Uh... Here we go. Romans 131. Romans 131. Foolish, heart, uh, faithless, heartless, ruthless. He's saying these are the kind of people that are going to be in the last days. And it, watch this. He's talking among family members. This has nothing to do with anybody not related to you. He's saying in the last days, 
family members will be foolish with one another, faithless with one another, heartless or a storage with one another, ruthless. In the regular uh, King James Version of the Bible, traditional King James Version of the Bible, it says without natural affection. So if you're saying, I don't, I don't remember it, when you see without natural affection, that's a storage, a storage. He does it in 2 Timothy 3.3, 3, uh, without natural affection or heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good. This is all family members. This ain't got nothing to do with people that you ain't related to. This is how family members are going to treat each other in the last days. So when you're looking at the last days and you be like, how could she do that to her child? How could he do that to his sister? How could they kill their mother and father? This is a storage love. Storage God won't dignify, but he does let you know that a storage without natural affection, that means you are supposed to naturally love this person, naturally have some fillers for this person, naturally feel a degree and you won't have it in the last days. All right, and then finally, number seven. This is the love that is popping in America. This is the love. This is internet famous kind of love. This is this is not, now. Let me let me let me let me give a shout out to internet famous. Not that she loves like this, but this is the kind of love that she likes to see on TV. Uh, and I don't know why, because she don't love like this herself. So it is absolutely. Uh, uh, oxymoronic to me. Uh, well, that's the best I had. But this is the kind of uh, love that she likes to see. And, mm, 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 oh, and Peter saw Sally and, mm, mm, and and she was a whore and Peter took her home and he made her a housewife. Mm, 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 mm. And it all turned out happily ever. He was a thug with his pants down and she put him in a suit and now it's all mm, 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 mm. no! It, it, no, 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 no. When Hallie met Sari, I never seen that movie. Um, and with my, my shout out to my mom in heaven. Her favorite movie used to be uh, um, um, uh, pretty, woman. pretty Woman, Pretty Woman, Pretty Woman. No, anyway, anyway, whoo, that almost went bad. All right, so shout out to me. And anyway, 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 never going to happen. Eros love is nowhere in the Bible. God does not dignify. He will not. So all this, these romantic rom-coms that you see on TV, God does not dignify that as love. I'm going to say this again. You talking about you fell in love with somebody. God does not dignify that as love. He does not. It did not come from him. It did not. He did not create it. God does not dignify. Eros love is where you get this sentence. I love my car. I love ice cream. I love tacos. I love I love my wife. Th that's Arrow's love. And that's what most people mean. They love tacos and ice cream and beer as much as they love their wife. That's why they end up in divorce. Arrow's love is not a thing. It's found nowhere in the Bible, uh, nowhere in the New Testament. This love is about passion and romance and intense emotion. Passion, romance, and intense emotion. God is like, that ain't love. That's, that's, that's foolishness. God is like, that is foolishness. It is only about feelings of passion, emotion, intense emotion. Ain't come from God. Let me prove it to you. This word comes from uh, the God Eros in Greek mythology. So before Greek mythology, you couldn't even have this kind of love. So this is foolishness to God. So when somebody be like, I'm in love with her and we fell out of love, God is like, it's foolishness. It's foolishness. I never came up with that. It was all whack and fake when y'all came up with it. That is feelings and you should not categorize it as love. But since the world has continued to evolve and Greek mythology has come uh, to the world and there was a Greek God by the name of Eros who was over love, then now we have what people call Eros love and that's romance. And so God is like, I ain't into that because he said when uh, Isaac took his wife in and, and made love to her and came out, he loved her. Yeah, nothing to do with no feelings. Nothing to do. It was a conscious decision. And he stayed where it had nothing to do with emotions. It was an act. When they had sex, it wasn't romantic. 
It wasn't romantic. When I know you wanted to be romantic, when he went in the room and he had sex with her, that was called marriage. That was called marriage. By that, he married her. And from that moment on, he loved her. Wasn't no, nothing romantic in the deal. This internet famous love comes from the Greek mythology. And so most marriages and most people celebrate Valentine's Day based on a love that God does not dignify. Happy Valentine's Day. All right. But I don't love you with Eros love. I love you with agape love. And that's why I sell you these socks. Because if I loved you with Eros love, I wouldn't sell you these socks. Because I would be like worried about if they, how they made your outfit look. It would be all about passion. It would be all about romance. But this seeks the greater good. This, I love you. I love all of you. I love your feet. I love, th this keeps your toenails that are not cut uh, in, in, they don't, it, it, your, to your, your bad toenails will not cut this. Your, 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 your achy, achy, breaky feet that need a, a, a lotion, you need to sleep with Vaseline for the next seven years. Look, this, 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 this will do it. These socks. And you know what? This is love day. So everything is $2 off. Everything is $2 off on love day. This lead and shout out to Minister Rogers. He told me to give y'all the love day uh, discount. I wasn't going to do it. I was just going to tell you that you had to just believe my love you. But no, no. He said, Bishop, you got to put a little phyllos in there. You got you to put a little, little affection in there. So I'm going to give you the $2 discount. Shout out to Lee. And uh, because I love him, I'm giving y'all $2 discount on everything. So these $16 socks are now $14. Now watch this. Y'all know my $15 hat is now $13. Now let me tell you what I did. I asked Tim for a baseball cap and look at here. Look at here. Ow, 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 ow. This is 20, this is $20. And I don't care how much I love you. You're getting it for $20. I don't care what Lee said. This is $20. This is brand new. Y'all see my new cup? Now, this cup, uh, Tim said he can't make a lot of these cups. So this cup just became a $35 cup. This cup became a $35 cup. You get, now, now listen to me. When I say these things are limited, they are limited. These are some other cups that are coming soon. Because the black cups he can't really do. So all the black cups is going to be really high prices. But you should get them. But this is the best one right now. Because it got my face on it. So you need to get it for $35. That's that's the love discount price. Prices. I'm getting ready to sign off. I love you very much. This has been a Stone Cold Groove. Love somebody in a special way. What more can I say? Peace. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. Monday morning's eight and busy trying to throw you off track. Be numb to his thoughts, suggestion, and all his mental attacks. You're overworked, underpaid, and your life's full of lack. Well, that's persona non grata, so you can miss me with that. Bishop Grant.